<laughs> I don't know whether working is the word. I know I invest long, long time. Even at three o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the, in the morning again, I sleep for hours. But that's because I'm not efficient, not because I work very well. How long I do work? Probably all my life. <laughs> Excepting when I'm eating or sleeping, I'm always connected to the computer and I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, let's say that bureaucracy has increased a lot, but that's something I counted on. And I don't care. Definitely it's hard work, but every time I, I feel like complaining, I, I want to think, what am I doing this for? And, and then I think of all these people. I remember Tina actually, right? Because Tina said, yes, it's hard work, boring work, but look how many people are coming here, how many people you may have changed their lives some people come to me and they thank me. Thank you for this opportunity. When I'm only a piece of the machine, right? But they come and thank me. And that makes me say, okay, I'm working a lot, maybe too much, but it's worth it. One, two, two three. Yeah. Some others maybe don't, but only for those two, three, four people that come and say, thank you for this opportunity. Well, that gives me ex extra stamina, right? <laughs> one more year, one more year. <laughs> so my life has changed in a way that I work a lot, but there are things I see now I didn't see before, so directly, at least. So I wouldn't change it. How mechanical engineers perform and how electronic engineers perform, or what do they get? I don't know. I mean, the difference between both engineering, technically, there's a clear difference. I mean, the topics are completely different, right? But it's difficult for me to answer because actually, unfortunately, I might say, I am not mechatronic. I am electronics, right? So my knowledge of mechanics is very limited. But it looks like, or I feel, and sorry if there are any mechanical engineers there, <laughs> I, I don't want to offend, but most people might think that mechanical engineering is not changing as quickly as electronic engineering is. And being an electronic engineer myself, I feel lots of changes every day, every year. It's almost impossible to be up to date always. You're always feeling, I'm old fashioned. I don't think that happens so much in mechanical. Of course, there have been improvements, right? This 3D printing, uh, fabric manufacturing processes, things change. But I think electronics engineering changes faster. And then when we try to put both worlds together, as we do in the master in mechatronics, uh, well, maybe their background might experience this if I am right. But I see that they all, in the end, well, they succeed in doing what we want, what I want them to do, which is simply understanding each other. When I was younger, so much younger than before. <laughs> when I was younger, so much younger than before, I never needed anybody's help in any more. Or it doesn't rhyme. Help in any way. Anyway, you wanted me to sing a song. When I was younger, I said, uh, I kind of ignored mechanical engineers. I mean, you know, I was an electronic engineer. I was together with, with my electronics engineers. I'm talking as a teacher, right? And you said hello to mechanical engineers, but that was all. And since I entered the master in mechatronics, I discovered that mechanical engineers are people too. <laughs> and good people, right? No, it's true. I, I opened my mind. I saw electronics is but a small piece of real life. And um, I have to be in touch with all the world surrounding me. Mechanics, engineers, fluid and mechanics, everything, right? And that's what I want to get from mechatronic engineers. I want them to be able to communicate with everybody, to understand that I am a specialist in something, but I might understand other problems. And I think we do this in mechatronics, even though, as I say, there might be some difference in mechanical engineers and electronic engineers in the end, 
we think we succeed in getting all of them to an, a balance point where they all meet. So the difference, I don't know, but the end is we, we level them. Okay. That's my opinion. This social skills, which we think they have. Well, you're getting old, man. I agree there. I can't agree more. I can't agree more. Yes, you're right. And I always, I, I, I tell it at home. I say, well, I am 54 now. 54. <laughs> but in my mind, since I'm always surrounded with students in the lectures, they come to me and talk with a certain familiarity. I mean, I don't keep my distance, right? So I'm never going to be one of them anymore. But I feel their spirit. And even if it's 10% of that spirit, I can sip in. Well, that's for my benefit, and you're right. Fly, try, yay! But definitely technically, and as far as, uh, in this case, electronic knowledge is concerned, it's my mission to teach them more. But uh, I'm sure they don't appreciate my lectures <laughs> as much as I appreciate their making me feel, well, maybe, I don't know whether younger is the word, but. They put some spirit in me, which I don't think I would have if I were working in a factory eight hours a day or whatever. I think. It's a video, right? <laughs> I mean, now I'm a lecturer, a professor, whatever, and when I finished studying, I never ever had plans to be a teacher. Oh. There came this opportunity to be a lecturer, and I said, Okay, yes, I can spend here some months before or years before I find a real engineering uh, job. But I never wanted to be a teacher. And then little by little, I discovered that I love being a teacher. Um, I want to think I teach well, but even if I didn't, I have such a good time <laughs> that who cares? <laughs> well, maybe they care, but I, I enjoy teaching. I enjoy teaching. <laughs>